Hey guys, Patrice here with another video. This time this is a, not a rare, I guess rare. Um, it's a Rainbow Melts haul. Um, I think this is the second time I've ever ordered from Rainbow Melts. Um, she had mis put mystery bags. This was from an RTS she was supposed to. Um, sorry, I'm just lost for thoughts. This is from an RTS she was supposed to have, but she decided, like, with health complications, I believe she posted that she wasn't doing it. She was just doing mystery bags, and she put them on sale for $15.75. So I ordered two to make shipping worth it. So I have literally opened it. And to say, this came in yesterday. <laughs> my mailman normally drops them off at my door. For some reason yesterday, he decided to put it in our community mailbox, which is absolutely fine. I don't mind, except that it had rained previously, and then yesterday it got really cold. So the mailbox froze. There's no way I could get it open until today it warmed up to rain again, and then finally it unthawed. So it's been there a day. So anyways, um, I didn't see any samples on top, so that's fine. Um, that's perfectly fine. I just, the, these were on sale for 25% off. So it's amazing anyway. So let's get into it. The first one here is pumpkin, sweet, Amish bread, Amish bread, Amish bread, vanilla bean, marshmallow. There are two Santas. Ooh, this is good. You definitely get that, uh, Amish bread with a little bit of pumpkin. Mmm, that one's good. Love it. Um, the next one is um, Holiday Sparkling Fruit for Juniper and Pine. So this is not one I would probably have ordered, but... Yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's a very fruity um, tree scent. But with, from those notes, I never know with Juniper if I like it or not, but... Yeah, that's really good. It's definitely, definitely holiday reminiscent. Super good. Next one is Buddy the Elf Frosted Sugar Cookies Sweet Marshmallow Maple Syrup. I don't know if I've had this one. I might have ordered this from a bee stash. I'm not sure. Oh, it's so good. You get that maple syrup. It definitely smells like maple pancakes, but a little bit sweeter. So maple pancake, or well, you guys know. Um, it's sweet, but this definitely smells like a sweet er version. And I assume that's the frosted sugar cookies. Yeah, that's really good, too. Ah, the next one is this snowflake shape, and it is peppermint clouds. Icy peppermint boardwalk marshmallow clouds. So, you guys know I'm not big on peppermint, but... Oh, this is good. <laughs> oh, I don't think I would pick it up because Icy Peppermint scares me. But I love Warwalk Marshmallow Clouds. And these two together are phenomenal. I love that. Um, oh, I found her card. So the owner is Crystal um, Rainbow Melts. So the next one is Secret Santa. Fireside Marshmallow Sugar Cookies and Peppermint cute gingerbread yeah this is good it's not heavy on the fireside marshmallow which I appreciate or the peppermint definitely a good blend um I don't know if I could even say what I was smelling though um that not in a bad way it smells like a really nice bakery but I don't pick up a heavy peppermint I don't pick up the fireside marshmallow I don't pick up sugar cookie it's just blended very well really nice so the next is two santas and frosted cranberry cranberries winter frost and velvet plum sometimes i like mystery bags and then sometimes i don't normally i don't order them but um with rainbow melt sometimes our lists are a little bit smaller um so i figured you know what these were on sale this is a perfect time to order and get some of our winter stuff i haven't ordered any of our winter stuff Oh, this frosted cranberry is amazing. Get that sweet, sweet cranberry with a little bit of plum. 
And a little bit of that winter frost, really nice. Ugh. Is frosted cranberry a uh, Bath and Body Works stew? I have never smelled it if it is. So, oh, this is cute. I've never seen this shape from her. So it came in this bag, it's just in this little tub, and I'll show you guys. This is Oh Snap, and look, I'll open it. They're just like little, little bubbles. Super cute. Oh Snap, gingerbread, zucchini bread, and butter burgle. Don't know why I didn't leave it open. Mm, you definitely get all three of those. I love gingerbread when it's mixed with zucchini bread. Oh, so good. And that's really neat. At first I thought it was a scoopable, but I'm like, that's pretty small for a scoopable, but wow, that's good. Okay. Next one is Jelly of the Month Club. Hot clove, or oh, hot. Orange clove jelly and hot orange Danish. I kind of combined the two. And this is a very nice fall orange. Yeah. Um, to me, normally, um, orange fall summer. But that one's good. Um, the next one is Mary Nice Ginger Snap Cookies and Holiday Fruitcake. I don't think I've ever smelled a fruitcake scent. This one's not my favorite. Um, but it's still, it's still good. It smells dry, if that makes sense. Like, normally with bakery, I am a big fan of, like, creamy zucchini, uh, vanilla bean buttercream, like sugar cookies this just smells a little dry but but really i don't know what else you would expect because fruit cake is a dry bread or cake and then ginger snap cookies to me are dry too so this one i think i would mix a little bit of creamy zucchini buttercream and it would just help it some. I'm still going to melt it. And I'm still going to probably like it. It's just I don't know what other anyone else would expect from that. Other than there's nothing to cream it out. So, um, Grinchy fresh cut Christmas cheese and cranberry apple marmalade. Yeah, this is beautiful. Definitely tree, but you get that um, cranberry apple marmalade, and I love marmalade scents. Mmm, so good. I think there's just one left. Yep. And it is festive. Hot orange Danish coffee and sweet vanilla cream. And it is a little Christmas tree and two of those Santa faces. And this is definitely a coffee orange scent. I'm not getting really any sweet vanilla cream. But man, this is good. Yeah. Definitely an orange coffee. That's a really good orange coffee. Normally orange coffee for me is too spicy. But that one's good. So overall, I am so happy with this. I am so glad I had watched one other video on the mystery and she didn't like half of it um which i mean so i did get some of the ones she got and i love them so it's just a it's just a preference i think she didn't like grinchy and i love that so um the only one i would say that is not a favorite is mary nice and like i said i'm still gonna melt it i'm just gonna mix a little bit into it so yeah, it's still, it's still good. It's just not like the other ones are great and this one's just good. So, but really good mystery. Um, I don't know why I don't order from Rainbow Melts more. Um, I just, it's, she's so good. So, so I wouldn't say that's bad for $30 US. You get like, I can't even show you all of what you get.
Like all of that for 30 US is crazy. That is such a good deal. And even if I didn't like one of them, like even if I did say, you know what, I'm gonna give Mary Nice away, it's still a good deal. So um, if you've never checked out Rainbow Malts, just check her out. Like I said, I don't order from her a lot, but I definitely am going to order more. Peppermint clouds. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, oh, before I let you go, um, I'll give you a little update on what I'm going to be doing. Um, I have a... A little after on the way that is extra advent since I ordered and her new collection from the 20 from Christmas and I have an L3 that was shipped December 13th that still has not made it to Canada I have the worst luck with L3 shipping um, I have a friend she lives in Canada she ordered from the pre-order as well this is from the pre-order in November um, her ship two days after mine and she got hers before Christmas and it's like December 5th and or 6th and I haven't got mine yet it hasn't even made it to Canada so worse luck but that's okay that will come eventually um, and I want to say that you probably won't see it be seen as many hauls on my video I know a lot of people are doing the collab the melting box collab or melting basket collab and the low buy and whatnot. Um, I have been asked about kind of if I was going to join in, not by them. I just was asked by friends that watch my video if I was going to join in. Um, and maybe eventually I would kind of, but I like doing monthly baskets because once I, oh, like I've said it multiple times, once I use some, a little bit of something, I want to melt it and I'm, unless their theme kind of runs it it's just gonna kind of drive me nuts that i have all these open wax um and then um uh, what was i gonna say and i'm really right now working on my 2020 wax so maybe once that's done if they're still doing it and i am doing a low buy um I didn't order from Ebony Violet pre-order. I did not order from the L3 pre-order. Savannah Blue had an RTS I didn't order from. Um, I'm really trying to be more mindful about what I'm spending. I'd really like to save some. So you won't be seeing as many hauls. There'll still be some. I'm not doing a no buy. Whenever I see something that uh, I really want, I'm going to order it. But for a while, I'm going to try, Maybe I think until the fall, I'm going to try a low buy. So... Anyways, so thanks for listening to me ramble for the last couple minutes and thanks for watching my haul. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.